Welcome to Palm Springs, California, one of great winter getaways. Oh, and the name Palm Springs comes from the springs that they found here in the desert and where there's water, there are palm trees. Palm Springs is like a moody desert spa with luxurious cocktails and pools. All around, there are shops, restaurants, blue sky, mountains, and lots and lots of palm trees. In a way, here you feel like being amongst the ghosts of that exclusive old glam. I mean, they had Sonny Bono as a mayor here. Apparently, in 1988, he purchased an Italian restaurant and he wanted to have a really big sign uh, in front of the restaurant and the city wouldn't allow him. And he, it, it, he got so frustrated, it inspired him to run for mayor and he won. And the rest of his political career was history from that point on. And then my kids are going like, so who is Sonny Bono? As quirky as this town is, Palm Springs went through a lot of different stages of American history. They started building it and kicking off uh, Palm Springs in like 1920s with lavish hotels with Olympic sized pools. And then depression hit and a lot of these hotels went under. And then this is Rudy's convenience store as it was in 1930s. And every single product, soaps or whatever, they all from 1930s. It is absolutely fascinating. And it's closed because of COVID. Hopefully soon it's gonna be reopening and definitely worth a visit. There's a variety of beautiful designer houses for rent here. Even Frank Sinatra's Twin Palm residence. He bought it with his very first million and he ended up having very famous and horrible fights with his wife Ava Gardner and this resident. If you love good food, there are plenty of choices, but be wary of touristy places. We found this French bakery. People say that it's the best uh, French bakery outside of France. This is freaking good. Actually, this place is usually sells out by one o'clock and earlier you get here, better it is. I'm gonna link everything. Now here's one of those very fun places many people don't know about. A place where you can hang out with a kangaroo and feed a giraffe. The Living Desert Zoo is absolutely beautiful and so unique because first of all for 25 bucks you get in and you see all these animals roaming around from Africa, from Australia, and they put them together. Look at that! <laughs> Here's fun fact for you. A dog giraffe okay. consumes about 140 pounds of foliage each day. So keep that in mind when taking a selfie. Uh, one selfie and then I'm gonna be out. So I have a few tips for you. First of all, to feed a giraffe, come here early. They start uh, feeding giraffes at nine o'clock and that's the best time to come here before a crowd gets the long lines and, uh, and you just get a fresh, brand new giraffe to feed. <laughs> and then it takes about two to three hours, depending how fast you go to get through around the entire uh, zoo. But, really come here as early as you can. That's the best time to do it. This is a special place I wanted to show you. This is uh, Cabo's Pueblo Museum, which is Hopi-inspired uh, engineering and design marvel. Cabot was a traveler and artist, and he was building this house for himself and incorporated Native American art and artifacts and his own art too. Now, in spite of the fact that it was 1949, he actually built this house solely out of materials that he found in Coachella Valley. And on top of it, he purchased two cabins that he dismantled and he used those materials also it's too bad the house and premises are closed and due to covid but i figured out a way how to show it to you 
I'm pretty much sticking my phone into this and I think you guys are gonna get an idea how amazing this place is. Fun fact here, so just with a shovel, he uh, nursed here uh, mineral waters of Palm Springs and he found here a uh, hot and cold mineral wells which is so rare and because of that he actually called it hill as a miracle hill <laughs> final quick stop on our way back to LA uh, this is Morisco cactus shop uh, cactus and succulent shop and I heard it's really amazing and honestly if you really think about it what can represent desert better than a uh, cactus I love that cactus standing strong on its okay, own, prepared for the harsh thing. treatment of life. Kind of like people in Palm Springs. They've been through depression, then decades of mob rule, and yet they're standing strong and fabulous. Oh, by the way, these are uh, Nopal cactus, and uh, I have a joke for you. Why did the cactus did not have friends? Because he was a Nopal. And I have one more. Uh, what did cactus? Uh, what did a cactus wear to a business meeting? A cacti. <laughs> well, this is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. So please like it if you liked it, and please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss new destinations. All the details, where to go, what to do, and the links are on the blog and description below. And um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in the next video.